What's up, YouTube? It's Dom Universe. Today, I want to talk about how to increase your willpower, how to strengthen your mind in different ways. Not just dopamine, not just, just energy, but with willpower. So, with will, uh, one of the ways you can strengthen your willpower is with work. So, let's say you in school or you work somewhere, you got a job somewhere. You focusing and concentrating on something, getting into that flow state, getting into the zone when you're doing something, keeping yourself doing it strengthens your willpower. So just like I said with mirror gazing, you focusing on yourself, keeping your when your face starts to warp and shit, start your eyes start to do all different crazy shit when you mirror gazing, try to keep focusing without letting that break your focus. That's you you keeping yourself doing something. Keeping yourself doing something strengthens your willpower. So let's say another way you can strengthen it is let's say okay a lot of people don't like to uh get right up out of bed when they wake up right after they wake up it's hard to get out of bed so let's say you are a person who let's say you just just wanted to start doing working out right after you wake up so let's say 7 30 in, in the morning you wake up at 7 30 in the morning and you don't even feel like getting up it's a chance that you have low willpower right low willpower uh because you don't want to get up and do it. So I gave you all an example about willpower one time when I said, it, let's say you wanted to do the dishes or you had to do the dishes, but you started thinking about it from a left brain perspective and, and thinking, rationally, rationalizing it or, or, or just being like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. Should I do it now? Or maybe I should do it later. I don't, I don't feel like doing this. Or that's a lot of dishes. You are thinking from a left side, uh, left brain perspective instead of right brain. Instead of thinking about it, just do it, because you are you are adding action. You are just doing it, and keeping your focus on it will strengthen your willpower. That also strengthen your willpower when you start not thinking about certain things and just doing it. That adds uh, frequency. This is frequency, vibration, and energy when you when you doing these things uh, that's a that's right brain though that's right brain that's yin that's uh that's the heart space that's the body so uh yeah when you when you just do it you strengthen your willpower so not thinking about it especially when it's something you know you have to do or you got to get done eventually don't think about it just do it so that being said when you got goals when you got goals to do something or you have something you want to accomplish in your life you have something set for yourself what you need to do is work towards that goal so i told y'all also about willpower being saying setting the intention you have to set it when you set it when you set an intention to do something set an intention is a powerful thing to do i want y'all to know that setting an intention is powerful because when you set intention, you set an intention to do it. So, saying I will, I will, is cast, it's like casting a spell on yourself. Setting an intention is like casting a spell on yourself because it's, when you set an intention, it sticks with the mind and you know you have to do it. So, it's like you, you casting a spell on yourself to just do it. Let, especially if you set it a certain time. It's not going to be hard when you start practicing this. Set an intention to do things. Set an intention for something to happen. And it will happen for you, especially when you're giving it energy. Because whatever you give energy to, it grows, right? Willpower. That strengthens your willpower. Getting up and doing it, right? So when you got goals, you work towards it. You give it more energy. You keep giving it energy. You invest the energy into it. What you doing when you do that? In exchange, right? Since much, since your uh your energy is like your currency, you treat it like currency. You giving something energy, and it's giving you back willpower. You strengthening willpower when you do that. That's a good thing. That's a good way to use energy to invest in something like a goal, right? Oh, and another thing is doing things in increments. This also this also is a good uh dopamine boost. So when you complete, when you accomplish something, like let's say a task or something, like let's say you threw a ball in a fucking rim, half court, half court, threw the ball in and made it, 
your testosterone boost, your dopamine boost. Doing your dopamine boost, right? But when you do things like, let's say you got little accomplishments. Let's say, let's say, let's think about it like this. Let's say you reading, right? And you got 15 paragraphs. You plan on doing, you, you plan on doing all 15 of those paragraphs within the hour. And you start counting them by threes. So you saying like every three, I'm going I'm to take a breather. At, I'm going to take a drink at, after every three paragraphs, right? And every three paragraphs, you just did an accomplishment. Every three paragraphs, three, every third one, every sixth, every at the third one, at the sixth, at the ninth, at the twelfth, fifteenth, then you... When you get to 15, that's a bigger uh, dopamine boost. But when you get to that third one, that's a dopamine boost. That sixth one, that's a dopamine boost. That ninth one, that's a dopamine boost. So like that, you're doing little accomplishments inside of a big accomplishment. So that's many good dopamine boosts. So when you're doing that, that also helps you increase your willpower because you're keeping yourself doing something. You keeping yourself doing them first three. You keeping yourself doing them second three paragraphs. You keeping yourself doing the uh, third three paragraphs, right? You get what I'm saying? So those are ways to uh, strengthen your willpower and resisting temptations that serve you no purpose. Like, you probably want to masturbate. Keeping yourself from doing it stops you from masturbating, right? Because when you ejaculate, right, that's a that's a short-term feeling. That's an unnecessary dopamine boost, especially if you're doing this to porn. That's an unnecessary dopamine boost. You just wasted and weakened yourself over a temporary feeling, right? You're supposed to read. Nothing comes easy. You got to learn how to use your focus. I made a video about a, a few, a couple videos about how to control your energy, how to use your energy. Yo, when you use your energy, you, when you use your energy correctly, you start to strengthen your willpower. Getting into a right brain, uh, doing, being more into your right brain and mirror gazing strengthens your willpower. Meditating strengthens your willpower. Any type of gazing meditation will strengthen your willpower because when you strengthen your willpower, you staring at something, giving it your energy. You keeping your energy on it. The more, the longer you keep your energy on something, is, is the more you strengthen your willpower. When we do the things we love, especially if it's a job, you, you start in a business. When we do something we love, or matter of fact, anything, anything like video games, keeping yourself from doing it and rewarding yourself with it. Or let's say if it is a job and you working towards something, keeping yourself doing this, whatever it is, strengthens willpower. But when it comes to like a video game or just just little entertainment bullshit temporary entertainment something temporary keeping yourself from doing it keeping yourself from doing it strengthens willpower keeping yourself from like i practice self-discipline so if if it's something i like to do sometimes i make myself wait for it by doing something maybe i'll go i'll go exercise before i do it i'll probably go clean up before i do it I will probably I'll probably do something be I would I will do something before I go and do it so I can strengthen my boot my willpower. I sometimes necessarily uh discipline myself. That kind of sound kinky, but yeah. But set an intention. When you set an intention, you you making yourself content. You casting a spell on yourself to to uh <laughs> we got a spider over here. You setting yourself, it's like you casting your, um, a, 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 a spell on yourself to get it done. We gonna talk about language in another video cause I wanna tell y'all about words and vibrations and how they came to be. Because this is, this is why English is a bastardized language and is mixed with a bunch of vibrations. So, like, for example, like, words came from vibrations of things. 
of our ancestors trying to mimic the sound of things with their mouth. So let's say I tapped on something, like I tapped on something, you, you get me? They try to mimic that sound and that sound's vibration is the same as that sound. And so it brings that to you. They, they didn't use language. They used what is called, uh, like our Egyptian ancestors used a language called Merunetr. It wasn't words, it was pictures. That was their way of speaking. That was their way of speaking with, metal, with hiero, we call them hieroglyphics. We call them hieroglyphics because of science and whatnot. But the language, it's a language. It's called metal netter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm over here. I'm just talking. Dom Universe taking off. I love y'all. Like, subscribe. Peace.